the Fiery Forge, where the Arch Illager builds monstrous machines that devastate the villages of the overworld. Hi everyone, this is Jeff Haynes, Senior Editor of Video Games at Common Sense Media, and I'm here showing off the Fiery Forge level of Minecraft Dungeons. This game is currently out now for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Windows PC. As you can see from the sweep of the camera through the forge itself, there's a very large expanse of fire and brimstone with that mine level, but there's a lot of other biomes and, or environments that you can see from the rock and snow covered expanse that we're going through right now. Players will also go through mines, swamps, deserts, canyons, and a lot of other environments, and there's additional content that will be coming in the near future that will expand on the gameplay. Now, as you can also see, they're going to face off against a lot of creatures that Minecraft fans know and love, or probably, I should say, hate, whether it happens to be spiders and creepers to the zombies that will soon be popping up on screen and even skeletons and more, there's a whole host of monsters that you will be literally facing off against as you're exploring your environment. But one thing that's specifically notable about Minecraft Dungeons that's a departure from the original Minecraft is that while the original was much more focused on exploration and crafting, Minecraft Dungeons is much more of an action-adventure game that's focused more on the combat. In many ways, it's a little bit closer towards Diablo, where you're eliminating creatures and, as you can see right there, collecting weapons, armor, and other loot drops from the defeated enemies or from chests that you find in the environment to power up your characters and give you more of a chance to defeat your enemies, while also collecting some of the spoils like the energy that you see there or unleashing specific powers and weapons to defeat the ways of enemies that constantly approach you. Now, obviously, you're not going to constantly be carrying all of these items, a lot of these will be dismantled or traded away for gems to buy completely new equipment. That's another de departure from the original Minecraft, whereas the first game really focused on collecting items and then crafting the gear that you needed yourself. In Minecraft Dungeons, you really are simply trading these items away or purchasing newer ones from the spoils that you see as you just see on screen by breaking chests or, or jars open to collect gems, much of which you'll then use to empower either your character or enhance the weapons and armor that you have uh, back at your camp when everything is safe and you're not being attacked by creepers that explode or skeletons that have bows. Of course, as you defeat them, you'll see uh, on screen that you level up by simply earning experience points, not only making you stronger and healthier, but also giving you enchantments that you can then place on your weapons or your items to give you additional uh, abilities. Some of these happen to have a lot of uh, really interesting effects in combat. For instance, some of them will uh, let you freeze enemies when you attack them. Others will give you uh, healing benefits when you take a certain number of steps in the environment. And others will even spawn items like food and bread if you wind up using healing potions or healing items. If you're lucky, you can also pair these up with healing necklaces or, as you can see on screen, the, the little pet wolf that will also go out into the environment and attack your enemies for you without you having to direct them uh, at incoming targets. That's actually going to be a very important part of this game because, of course, as you can see, there are waves of opponents that are constantly coming at you and they're not the only threats that you will face in Minecraft Dungeons. Of course, being in this forge, you would expect that there would be some hot things, but you, as you can see, lava and slag from the forge itself happens to be an environmental hazard. You can also find yourself sometimes falling into pits or wandering off of cliffs and just falling away into the ether. Fortunately, you wind up respawning next to one of your teammates because if you happen to be playing a, a one to four player game, if one of the people on your team is still alive, they can revive anybody that happens to fall or even be taken out by opponents. But uh, this is actually uh, very important. 
In Minecraft Dungeons, every single level happens to be randomly generated, so you can't actively memorize exactly what the layout of each level happens to be. So what might be a pit in one playthrough session will be a completely solid floor in the next, and you never actually know what you're going to be getting into until you dive into that level. Not only does that keep the action of the game fresh and exciting for each playthrough, but it definitely keeps you on your toes, especially because the environments will frequently change. In fact, as you'll soon see, the environment will sometimes pop up different traps, including uh, exploding pillars or arrows that wind up shooting out of, of nowhere or even laser turrets that will sometimes try to weaken you. Uh, if you're not careful or you're not paying attention, sometimes the environment, coupled with the waves of enemies and even some of the monsters that can control the environment as you see there raising the pillars, will sometimes separate you and try to take your party out. And if you're not careful and you're not paying enough attention, well, sometimes you might wind up falling when you least expect it. And that just means it's game over. For top picks and advice to fit your family, make sure to visit us at commonsensemedia.org.